I'm going to emphasize the key pattern that will make a good high quality trade. Without this pattern, it'll be a little bit more risky. Okay, I'm gonna draw it in. If you're going short, what you want again is a deep dominant and this C D to be stretched out to where some 261, 461 would be along with supporting structures going from here to there. Now it could be here, it could be here or there, but the key is that somewhere there's going to be a drop. Okay, now the same thing happens upside down. So let's take a look at what that is. On a few of these patterns that we've uh, that I randomly point out in different markets. Here is wheat, December wheat. Now if you look carefully, the so-called dominant pattern has an A B move up over here. The C the B to C move, that's a very deep retracement. And after that, you have a couple of deeps as well. Okay. And then you want to look at the time range to differentiate and see what, what they are. So if I see this guy over here, he is very, very deep, right? There. Okay. And the next guy is also very, very deep. Okay. The next one is also deep. Now, do I count this two bar wide guy or the three bar wide guy? Well, I include all, everything until something else comes along to knock it out. Now, with this setup in mind, once you find price action up here, up here somewhere, it could be overbought for a short. Okay, it's that simple. This this uh, leg over here is going to be a lot bigger overbought and it has to come down. Now, the, the key is to find out where that would be. And that's where my combos come in. Now, as it moves up there, you want to keep an eye out on this time range. By the way, that's eight bars wide. Anything that's two bars will be gone. Everything that's three bars is still there. Okay. Now, this is not edge in stone. This is just some sort of uh, general uh, um, area where the breakoff point would be. Okay. So, with that in mind, what you want to do is figure out generally where combo A, combo B, and combo C would show up. So let's do combo. Now, because we have deep, deep, and deep, you can initially look at combo A. Combo A is a 261, 261, 461 combo series, okay, meaning the average of of these three, two, two, and four, okay? Now, if you wanna see this as combo uh, B, it is two, four, four. Again, raw, raw combo B. And this will be the average. Now, how do you know where this place is gonna be? If you take uh, the next one in, it'll be It'll be this guy, once the eight bar wide pops above, this two bar wide here can no longer be used, okay? So here we have combo B refined by one extra uh, 461. Now in hindsight, you can see that we've missed it if we insisted on combo B, right? So how do we catch that? You wanna see how it comes into combo A because again, with so many deeps here, it could only go to combo A, maybe. But we're gonna look for clues. So a combo A is uh, 261, 261, four, and you might throw in an extra 461. Now, if you were to take the average of uh, these three, these four, I should say, and that's what we do live, you know, real time as well. And the key is to see whether you know, you can find yourself a high quality uh, pattern. Okay, something's not. This is not working. I'm gonna take my calculator out and calculate that. 
So anyway, I'm just going to say that it's going to be around here somewhere. Now, what you want to do is see whether it'll be combo A or combo B, and you can see that the, if I look at this as a three bar wide over here, which is still legitimate, and at this moment in time, right here, you may still be thinking that it's going to go to combo B, right? But when you have this pattern show up, it's a higher high, lower low, higher high. Now this compromises the upward energy a little bit, okay? Because remember, this was these guys are here deep, and then we have shallow here, and then shallow here again. At this moment in time, you might be thinking that this is going to go, you know, straight up. But when it took a turn down to here and then move up, then you say, wait, maybe maybe we're at some terminal move already. But how would you know? Well, here's how would you know. This leg right here, this is the leg where if you have a bunch of 461s from deep measure move within a measure move, again, this pattern right here or, or some variations of of this pattern here. In, on a smaller basis, going all out to 461. And again, I'm assuming he's he's of a deep retracement. If you have that in here somewhere, then that would lock in the zone. So let's take a look at that zone. And this zone here will be, I'm going to make it a different color. Okay. So so that bright green color. All right, so I'm going to go back to, I'll go down to, to the 60 minute chart. And see if I can find something that would lock in that zone. Otherwise, I would have to let it go a little bit further up. That's why we want to go down to a smaller time interval chart to uh, to lock in the zone. Okay, so this is the move, and here is the zone again. Okay, so this is the zone. Deep. So all these guys here, gone 461, would kill this up move here. This comes back to retest that high without going over. Okay, so just to go over this leg over here. This is, you know, I think we went over this already once. Okay, and you can go down to a smaller chart to see where that it would be. Okay. Okay, so that's how you would catch this local zone saying, yep, that guy could be it. And then when this retests that high with deep, deep, and deep without going over, but then once you see it coming down, it has to come down with enough shallows to make it worthwhile. Now, that's deep and deep, okay? Now, if you're holding on, that's still medium deep. Okay, that's medium deep. Okay, right there, super shallow, right? So once you get a super shot, remember, we, we expect a big move down because of the uh, the deeps and the dominance. So once you have that, now you're in good shape. This is kicking off a little bit, but then once you have that, you know that, okay, I can hold on because I'm riding out a pivot that proves to be very shallow. And that's important because if you're looking for a big move, you need to get beyond this 78%. And you want to go lower than that with enough energy, meaning super shallow. Okay? So as you go forward, you want to watch how, how deep is the retracement you have to, to, okay, here's another shallow one, right? You go through another shallow. Shallow, shallow is good. Okay, now we have a higher high, lower low. See, now now this is, this is deep. There's a measure move within a measure move. Now you got to be careful if you're still holding on to your short. But, okay, there's another shallow made right there. Okay, so if you write out these pivots and they prove to be shallow, that's how you manage the move. Okay, super shallow, even better. Remember, this is medium deep, so that's super shallow. So once you get in on something, you can do this. And oh, this is shallow, but then you have a medium deep one. It should not go above that high. Okay, so this this move shows that it is medium, medium retracing. Medium meaning less than 61, about 61%. Now, with the super shallow, you need two deeps to neutralize it. There's a measure move within a measure move. If you were to ride this out, you, oh, there, there's another shallow. Okay. Again, you have to ride it out and see that's a right skew as well. I'm going to go from here to here. I'm sorry, super shallow. 
So when you have a super shallow and then medium, and then there's a deep measure move, a little measure move, and then suddenly super shallow again, then you know you're uh, riding in a, in a good way. Okay, so, so base, oh, here's another shallow, okay. So you have to ride through a pivot. Now, sometimes I'm not willing to ride through a pivot, but when you do that, you can see how strong this downward move is to hold on. Again, you want to ride through some of those. So that's what we have in terms of a setup that was meant to go down um, on the daily chart, okay, because of deeps here. Hey, Sean, how are you doing? Deep, deep, and deep here. And that means this should be a decent drop. But what we're saying is that you can manage that to see how that should be. The key is to find this zone or that zone somewhere in here to initiate the short. And usually it's going to tell you locally. So the setup was there. Now this looks a little different than another market that we've been following, which is what? Sugar. Again, we think sugar is going to go down because of deep, deep, deep from here. Shallows up there. New lows today. Okay. So shallow. See this? Super shallow, super shallow again. So this thing has a little bit more room to go. Okay. To the downside. Now I'm thinking it could go down to the 78% or more before the days, before, you know, this moves over. Okay. So that's basically the whole pattern on the different look, but the same, you got the same moving the parts here, deep, deep, and deep. Okay. Now let's take a look at another one. We did this. I, I left these charts here, British pound. We talked about this. In fact, this is what I left from the last webinar. Here's a 78, the dominant two, the first level four. I drilled that in. Okay. Now I did not put this in this next level four. Okay. This is the next level four here. So somewhere in there is where the bottoming happens. Now, this is an important key right there, this part right there. Okay, that part, if you have deeps coming off of this high here, and if you have some slowing down or the market tipping its hand somewhere, somewhere in this range, again, using the 70 as a place that it should not go below here, you could get in good shape. This is just left over from last week. Okay, so here, again, this is a, a good series of deep, especially the deep dominant. Okay, here's a deep dominant. And, and you want some of these things uh, to clue you in. You have the zone pegged out, but to to see this come across with Very deep, very deep. If this time range is still good. Now, we, we don't know when this guy shows up what it, what knocks what gets knocked out, okay? But let me do this. If I were to take this guy and claim he's still good, and I'm going to claim that he's still good, okay? Now, before we see this guy showing up, we would assume all of these guys are good. Okay, this one. This one, all right? This one. See all these 461s? These are all 461s that could, locally speaking, give you a chance to, to kind of know what the zone is. One, two, three, four. Right around here, all this average gives, me, gives you that right around that area here. Now, when this wider time range shows up, what do you okay? There's some good news and some bad news. Some bad news is these guys go. This guy, if he's knocked out, I'm, I'm I haven't done the, the calculation, but if he goes, bye bye. And let's say, in fact, let me do the calculations right now. How wide? Eleven bars. That's that's actually ten. Okay, so this thing is gone. This thing, I think, is gone as well.
14. 14 over 36. 36 divided by 14. No, that's still good. So you, so some would go, some would stay. All right. So this is gone. And this one stays. Now I want to show you a quick, a shortcut. Okay. Now you can see that the ones who stay have their 40 ones average out somewhere over here. Now, because this one seems to be a redrawn, I'm just going to go like this. Oops. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is super shallow. I have to average this in, right? And this is going to go all the way down, blowing past all of these, right? Well, yes and no. Okay, if you did add that in, your your calculation will be will be this guy way down here. Okay, and if you average that in, it'll be maybe around here somewhere. But are we going to average that in, or or is that going to not follow through? Here's the kicker. Look what's in here. Everybody see that? Is a deep double top. And you can break that in, break it up even further. Okay. Five minute chart. And there's another guy over here that looks like that. Now, again, it's not the best situations, but you have a couple of 461s. And the follow through will have to be there or not. Now, this one didn't. It went higher lows, higher highs after that. So in a roundabout sense, this is uh, proving that it wants to, to go up. And from here, you could uh, buy on pullback. But buying on pullback is always tricky because they may not pull back, right? This is the key. If you have a deep measure move within a measure move or another one to be averaged in, that this can keep the things honest. This is tricky because it looks like a super shallow redrawn. That's why I want to point out in this uh, British pound, okay? Going back to uh, a 60-minute chart, you can put things in perspective, meaning that guy that looked like a, a breakout right skew super shallow, it's, this is not wide enough to knock out all the things that's visible on this chart, right? So this chart is still good. So that zone, give or take, is going to be good. This little in, inner patterns can help kill this. This one's like the fifth or sixth one in line, okay? Now, normally, you would have to squish it down a little bit due to that super shallow. But because you have a measure move within a measure move, actually a double top. And if you're going to insist on this zone not going below that zone, you can see uh that the dominant deep i mean very deep first level medium deep and then this one's shallow followed by a couple of deeps to neutralize it this zone basically gave you a bounce let me erase everything All right so that zone actually did give you a nice bounce anytime you're coming off of a deep dominant into a 78 if, especially when you have help from 261 461 even if it were to go below here a little bit is 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 pretty benign. Okay. Let's take a look at the one that we looked at a couple of days ago, Sean. Okay. This was the one. Uh Euro currency, right? We were talking about that. I didn't like it because it was coming looking like it was coming down. But look, this one actually did not just pick up a little bit here, but then it took off to the upside. So I was being too conservative, okay? We talked about this as a deep measure move within a measure move, and it came out to a 78 zone. Somewhere in here, along with a lot of additional 461s, okay? And this, again, looks a little different than the other one, but having the same uh, characteristic. Here's the ugly double top. Again, the low between the highs right in the middle. Okay, again over there, looking at this time range, figuring out which stays. I think this guy stays. These got higher, high, lower, low treatments. Okay. 
So again, that 78 zone held for a bounce and went sideways, sideways, boom, a big bounce. All right. And we actually caused a somewhat shallow dominant off of the low. So deep off of the highs dominant, somewhat shallow dominant off the lows. This thing not only went up, it went above this high here. Now, this is in spite of it being a down market. So this is not my favorite uh, situation because you're coming against this. But having said that, if you manage it properly, okay, you, you could be there for this little little pop. But this is, again, over, overnight from yesterday till today. Yeah, Sean says, sugar doesn't seem to give. <clears throat> yeah, sugar basically uh, is dribbling down very, very quickly. Um, it's the kind that you have, you have to catch it right here on the fly or close to the beginning of the drop. Okay, this is called blow off top. It blew off and then came right back. Back in 1979, 1980, silver and gold had some huge moves, similar similar way. These are, you know, crazy fast move up just to get everybody out, and then they dump it. That happens all the time in most markets, stock market as well. Upside down, uh, they sell, 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 and then they scoop it up. That's where these 461s come in to hold it in check, especially when it comes off of the dominant being deep. So the dominant being deep is, is a very, very uh, critical part of superstructure. And if you zoom in on nothing but that, you're in good shape. Uh, let's talk about the uh, crude oil. Now, again, crude oil has, remember, deep, 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 high, high, low, low, deep, deep. Now, once this thing settles down over here, I think, Rudy, you called it, right, 93. Well, it was a $2 move. Over two days, that's two thousand bucks. Okay, from here up to here. Now, I want to point out something. Again, you have deeps here, deep here, and deep here. From here, somewhat shallow dominant, shallow first level supporting structure. This guy over here seems to be medium retracing. Let me yank it up. Okay, it went all the way up. Now, off the high, you have what? Double top, followed by a deep dominant coming down. So right with this situation, this drop here is subject to this thing being bought. Now, this thing went below here, but you don't need to be stopped out if you buy it at a 78. Why? Because, again, this, this can run, but it can't hide. This is bringing it down to get ready to go back up. Why is that? Because this high is not the final destination yet. What do I mean by that? Remember these deeps over here? The dominant in the first level? How deep are they? 78 is a first level supporting structure. More than 78. The dominant. So this thing can come not just up, it can blow through the highs, right? Especially when it's coming off of a shallow dominant. Last night I was trying to buy here. It never went down low enough for me to go long on. Okay, but I did buy it here at 39, I'm sorry, 93.99, a little bit below 94 even. I called a little bit of this move, not that much, but a little bit of this up move. because so I missed the low here. But here, the point is that the dominant is deep, first level is deep. And the next one is still deep. Well, actually this one. And then, so the first four, five, six of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The first seven extensions are deep. How good is that? All right. So without going through the math, I'm just going to quickly point out the fact that, and again, you don't probably don't need the math, especially when you can eyeball, let me go real quick here, the zone, and then when the market tipped its hand around that zone, again, all these time ranges are still good. This is the 15-minute chart, which means that low there could be a move that could, could start off a move that can last a few days. Swing trade. Crude is now at a combo 
see the bottom possible 38 percent move down I'm gonna show you that drop okay I'm gonna show you this drop you see so somewhere around here give or take all right is the bottom so when this thing makes a higher low higher high shallow this thing ought to go up how much should it go up to well I'm just gonna pull a 70 percent thing okay now pre-market this morning was these double top pulling down to this low so if nothing else from this low up to this 70 percent that's a likely path including today's uh, crude oil report okay so you can see that coming off of deeps into here these highs that we dropped down from has isn't isn't this 70 percent target yet okay so there's several things going for us deep 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 and deep bouncing off the lows of shallows and the target is not reach yet so on this pullback buying here to get to there okay okay now what happens so far afterwards how far can it go how far can it possibly go well the answer is combo C now, where's combo C now if I was really aggressive I would ho hold this long until combo C but where's combo C now do, look at time ranges here this is the widest okay but that's not wide enough to knock out this time range this one or that one so I'm gonna draw in the 461 dominant 461s here now again blue pass the dominant 461 on the right skew blow up to the hot to the upside This one's still good. This one. High, low, high, high. Now we've taken, I'm going to take every single one, okay? So, so right here is raw, not raw, I actually combo, uh, combo C. But if you were to, to take profits, Raw combo C would be pretty much a good place to just yank it. However, if you want to find a high, then you want to look at further patterns. I'm going to go down to the five minute chart. Why? Because I want to take a look at this leg here. Okay. So I'm going to go, something's corrupted about this thing here. Let me. I'm going to take this. Uh, I'm going to take this calculator out and average these four and then I'm going to add more as needed from the bottom up 94.38 94.42 now this has 94 call it 95 even okay 95 even should you short at 95 even well, let's take a look at how it gets there. Five minute chart. Remember, you you'll be very careful to to start shorting aggressively because you have a dominant that is not very deep. Now, in hindsight, if you did short at ninety five even, you're up ten cents the hard way. Okay, but in this leg over here, what what is it that we see? Well, again, the question basically means what? Look at this shallow local dominant that's still shallow okay that's medium shallow but more importantly we want to look at measure move within the measure move okay so this is not a very good place to short coming into 95 like this okay this is combo C 95 technically speaking right there 95 right but you don't want to go short there why Be two reasons Number one, this leg here doesn't look very good because this is a shallow dominant. Now, on a smaller basis, you want us to do a one-minute chart on this leg from here to here. Can this does this leg here have any deep uh, extensions into into 95? That's the question you want to really address. Okay, we don't we know on this one again. These are all 
measure move within this bigger measure move that we're talking about. Okay. And and this leg here is very important. Let's take a look at that leg right there coming in. When you see strength to the upside, you know, don't want to fight it. Okay, that leg right there. See that? Look, I have super shallow. This is just dribbling up. Can anybody see the super shallow off of here? On the one-minute chart, there is no, there's no pattern. No, what, what, here's what you want if you want to think about shorting up there. Something deep. Okay. Again, it's the same old thing over again. Something deep like this. And if it happens to be fully stretched out to 461 locally, then that could be a good thing. So now we, since we don't have that there, you said no, it's going to float up higher. Bottom, it's basically super shallow logo dominant. Yeah, now mathematically, you're at combo C. So what do you do? Zoom out and look again. Zooming out meaning from one minute chart, I'm just going to go quickly to the five. And again, you want slowing down of trend. What's important are measure moves within measure moves. Now, you know you're close if we're a little short, but you want that logo coming in. I'll make a long story short here. When this time ring shows up, how wide is it? This is when you do, when this thing pops up or about to pop up, you say to yourself, gee, that's plenty wide. Okay, how wide in particular? On the five minute chart, here's what it looks like. That's 18 bars wide. Okay. Now, anything that is six bars will be gone. All right, so let's take a look at what time ranges stay. Two bars, he's gone. How wide is this guy right here? Six bars, he's gone. Three times. Now that's eight bars. He stays. So when the, the thing that's gone, I'm just going to erase. Now over here, I can count it. One, two, three, four, five. Five bars. No good. One, two, three, four, five. That's gone. So these are the only two that's left. All right? So I'm going to get rid of this zone over here. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to add in two more. Here we go. One. Two. Now, because this guy shows up knocking out everything else, I'm seeing this as shallow and shallow. So I got to use the, uh, I got to include them in, okay? All right, so with those two extra ones in there, instead of 50, uh, 95 even, call it 94, 98, what do we have instead? Well, I'm going to add in 96.09 and 96.20. See the average here? It moves it up to what? 95.36, call it 37. Well, the actual high came in as what? 40. 37 is right there. Okay. Now, before you say, I'm jumping in, what do you need to do? This leg right here. You want to look to see this leg. Now, what do you want in those legs? You want deeps. You want deeps in that blue leg. Okay, Cause, because otherwise it would be shallow, shallow. This leg, you know, seals the deal. So let me zoom out to show you all the 461s. Here they are. Okay. Again, dominant is shallow. We have a lot of shallows, but if you insist on saying, where is this going to stop? I got one, two, three, four. I have six 461s laid out, including those two shallow, shallow. Okay. And the average came up to 90, instead of 95 even, 95.37. The high was 95.40. 
So let's take a look at that last leg coming in. I'm going to go straight down to the one-minute chart. Again, this is called local confirmation. What do you want in there? Deeps. If you have deeps, you may get away with not having to extend those guys up. Okay? So here's that blue part, right? So from that blue part, I want to see what it is that that shows up here in this blue line. What, what path does it look like? You want something that is not very, very strong. Oh, let me let me readjust this. This was 96.20. It's not 96.20. I'm sorry. It is. Ninety six eleven. Let me change that. Okay, ninety five thirty five. Okay. All right. So see, ninety five thirty five. Where ninety five thirty five? Right around here. Here's thirty six. Now the question is, how does it get there? You want the answer to to, to say, if you want. <coughs> that place to go short kicking and screaming as opposed to a nice clean ride okay by the way this one over here double bottom and followed by shallow shallow okay the drop here is deep deep okay so this is still this drop here is not telling you that it wants to fall all the way down yet over here why do I point over there? Because that's 95.24. You might think, oh, I'll take 95 halfway up, or whatever. The way this inner pattern comes through, not the best. Double bottom is 100%, but then you got shallow, shallow, shallow. Over here, you got an inner measure move here. If you just short here and you see this coming deep, deep, well, this is getting ready to go back up again, right? Again, these are the inner patterns here. See, this one is even worse. This one was a deep here, and then you come through with a shallow. So from here, in other words, if you want to go short above there, this path is not as good. This path is a little better to short above there, but coming off the high is still ugly. Now, how about the path from here to there? Now, this takes into consideration this guy's 461, okay? Mathematically, mathematically, this guy's 461 is way up there all by itself. But to be averaged in with everything else, it brings it down to this number. Now, this number, again, the right up to that number is this. I'll point it out right real quick. That's a medium deep. This is a higher high lower low and deeper okay this is all kicking and screaming this is all this is what this is medium a double bottom here medium I'm on the one minute this is now this last piece here is shallow so if you look at it this way and say this is a higher high lower low treatment this is a good thing to have on its way up instead of this thing flying straight up from here to this level here which would be scary to short this thing took a little detour down lower lower than this guy and then made a move above here again this time range not knocking out this guy here and then instead of going straight up oop, we got a little down over here and this again now as you come into 9535 what do you want to see Ideally, you want to see some sort of measure move within the measure move. And measure move within the measure move, that gives you 461s. Now, I have a double bottom in here. Okay, again, looking at time ranges to make sure they're good. Okay, double bottom. Here's a one, two, three bar wide time range. If this is less than eight bars, then this double bottom is good, still good. The double bottom, I'm going to say, hey, can you offer something like a 461? It's up here, okay? Now, on this last leg coming in, what you want to say is, is this going to go to 95, not 35 and stop? Or is it going to go to 95, 44? Or somewhere in between? Well, this last leg is what's going to really help the issue. Why? 
Look at that deep measure move within the measure move. See that? That's beautiful. I wasn't here to look at it, but. And when you take this guy and extend him up, he, he just fell shy of the 90, of his 40, because the actual high was 95.40. Now, the other math calculation was 95.36. So anywhere between 95.35, 36 to 40, 41, that's, that's combo C. That's the move that gave you that. Sean says, would it be acceptable to use the 461 of the ugly double bottom in the last shallow? Oh, here? Here? Oh, here? Yeah, you could do that. You could do that. Now, when you put, when you go back over here, depending on what shows up, if this guy shows up, then this guy here, you may use a 461 or let me use a 461 here to be averaged in. 95.65. Okay. This is the next one following this Right, 95. Is that right? So if you average him in, now this is like, okay, this guy doesn't need to be averaged in because he's a deep, uh, ugly double, double bottom. But if I were to force him in, hey, you got to come in and join the party, then we would come in right at 95.39. The high was 95.40. Okay, so you may or may not need to use him. You can use him for the average, but in a raw form, and I do this. This don't don't get confused when I do this. In a raw form, I'm just going to say, let me see what his 261 looks like just by itself. Okay, it's not going to go to his 461. His 461 is be averaged in, but his 261, okay, just to use without being averaged in, just to be to be looked at, will be right here in that zone. But the real kicker that sealed the deal is this guy right here. This is a beautiful thing. In fact, I like this better than a double bottom, a pure double bottom. I like this to be a deep placement because that's, that's that pattern again, right? Again, it did not quite hit the 461. Could, ha could it have passed the 461 and blow through it by five ticks? Sure. Could it have shortchanged it? It did by two ticks. But because we have so many 461s averaged in, Either ninety five thirty nine or ninety five thirty five. <laughs> this guy may need to be shortchanged a little bit. So this is where combo C happens. But this high high lower low and all this crap needs to be there. Now this this guy is very critical if you want to pick a high. Why is he critical? Double bottom, medium, up shallow, medium medium shallow. This from this to this shallow without this guy over here. It, it may overshoot locally. It may have too much energy to look, to overshoot what you calculated as combo C. <coughs> okay.